Greetings. Today I, Ananya Kapoor, and I, Pranvi Pathak, from of Sun City School, School, will be presenting a short skit on Newton's third law of motion. Pranvi, do you know what happened with me yesterday? No. What happened? So, I was walking down the street and I found this wallet lying on the ground. I picked it up and gave it back to the owner. Few hours later, I went to this fair with my sister and I won the lottery. What's more interesting, this is not the first time it's happening with me. Whenever I perform good deeds, something good happens to me in return. Like this one time, I was running really late to school and I saw this elderly person on my way struggling with their broken car. So as a good lawful citizen, I offered to help them. In return, they gave me a ride to school. Hmm. But isn't this karma? Yeah, even I thought about that. This reminds me of one of the Newton's laws of motion. Can you guess which one? Newton's law of motion? I don't know which one. It is the third law of motion. Can you please explain what the third law actually means? Why not? In simple terms, if object A exerts a force on object B, then object B simultaneously will exert a force on object A, equal in magnitude and in the opposite direction. The, this shows that forces always exist in pairs. The law can also be verified using the laws of vector, which have both magnitude and direction. This in return shows that forces are directional in nature and thus are a vector quantity. The law is fundamental in standing various mechanics of physics phenomena. Right. But how is Newton's third law of motion related to karma? I'll explain. The law of karma is the law of cause and effect, very similar to Newton's third law which states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The law of karma has significant contribution to the, into an individual and similar to the Newton's law, which has great contribution to the physical world. Interesting. So the next time I do something good, I'll not only be contributing positively to the world, but I'll also be anticipating a positive reaction that may come my way. Pranvi, I'm a little confused. I got the action-reaction phenomena. But what are the applications of Newton's third law in our daily lives? I'll tell you. Have you ever wondered that why, while trying to uh, open a cabinet, you tend to push the cabinet door towards the wall instead of trying to pull it towards yourself? This is because pushing of the door towards the wall is the action that takes place. And the wall, in turn pushing the door towards us, is the reaction taking place. Also, in a super soaker water gun or the pichkari that you use in Holi, the action is expelling of the water forward and the opposite reaction that takes place is the backward motion of the gun. Another example could be astronauts in space. In the microgravity world of space, astronauts maneuver by pushing small masses in one direction. This is the action. This enables the astronaut to move forward which is the opposite reaction taking place. Now Ananya, can you tell me some examples? Mm, let me think. Oh, I have few. What about a person playing golf? The force exerted by the club on the ball is our action and the force exerted by the ball on the club is our reaction, making the ball flying through the air. Similarly, during a fist bump, the force exerted with the contact between us is our action and the uh, equal and opposite force we each uh, get is our reaction, making us have a shared moment of contact. Hmm. In a handheld fan too, we observe this. When you turn on the fan, the blades of the fan push the air backward. The opposite reaction taking place is the forward motion of the air or the breeze that you feel on your face. In bionic uh, limbs also, we can observe this. The prosthetic limbs that move forward is the action, which create an opposite reaction. This enables us to walk forward. Hmm. Oh, I have a few more. What about a person skating? The force exerted by the skates on the ice makes the ice move in the backward direction, which is our action, making the person move in the forward direction, which is our reaction. Even in uh, mouse traps, you can see that the snapping action of the mouse trap is our action and the propelling forward of the car is our reaction. The spring load releases energy which makes the car move in the opposite direction. Pranvi, do you know anything about the principle of underwater exploration drones? Mm, no, what is it? Well, as the name suggests, underwater exploration. 
These drones are used for underwater explorations which help in researches done in the deep blue sea. These uh, drones are equipped with propellers on each side which enables the water to move in the backward direction which is our action making the drones move in the forward direction which is our reaction. This helps in maneuvering and better research. Hmm, looks like now you're getting a hang of it. Hmm, I'm better at physics than you. Aureli, how about you catch this? Ow, oh, my toe! Ah, what was that aim, Pranvi? Any oh, isn't this what we just spoke about? You're right. Me kicking the ball towards you was the action that took place. And the opposite reaction is the wall pushing the ball back towards me. Exactly. You kicking the ball towards me was what the negative action you gave out to the universe. You getting hit by the ball on your own was what the reaction you gained from the universe. Seems like you deserved it. I'm sorry Ananya. I shouldn't have done this to you. Even I'm sorry Pranvi. This kind of reminds me of the movie I saw a few days ago where the superhero is finally punching the villain and while performing a powerful blow, he himself gets hurt. <laughs> this shows that uh, violence is not the answer to everything as Gandhiji rightfully said. Here also, Newton's third law and karma come together to give us a desired result. Hmm. Anyways, coming back to the topic, there are not only these many but numerous day-to-day -day applications of the Newton's third law. <coughs> And similar to the law, karma doesn't discriminate. It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. The consequences of your action will find their way back to you. Exactly. So the universe orders and governs on both physical and philosophical worlds. And it's not just our physical actions. The concept of cause and effect extends to our choices and behavior as well. The positivity or negativity of your action can influence the outcome you experience much like the consequences of forces in nature. It's a beautiful and humbling perspective that makes us think twice of what we put out to the world. It emphasizes on the fact uh, of what we, uh, that our actions lead to some consequences. Positive uh, actions lead to positive outcomes, then this is a reminder that we should bring out positivity in our surroundings. Life is full of interesting connection and parallels. I guess it's all about finding those hidden patterns and appreciating the beauty of how everything fits together. It's so intriguing to see how Newton's third law of motion, which is a fundamental concept in physics, is related to daily life experiences as well as philosophical ideas like karma. We should be proud of our mother nation that we thought of such a similar and logical idea thousands of years ago before Newton did, despite the difficulties and we came so far along. And so, the echoes of Newton's third law of motion reverberate, not only in the physics equation, but in the symphony of life itself, reminding us all that every action, indeed, has its equal and opposite reaction. Physics is actually much more interesting than I thought. I know, right? Thank, Thank you. you.